Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's video is going to be about modifying the Tech Help free template, which is a database that I use in most of my Tech Help videos, because I've decided to make the country field default to USA and not leave it blank. And I'll explain why in just a moment. But we're going to update the default value for new records. That's easy in the customer table. And then we're going to go through the customer table data that exists in there already. And we're going to update null values to USA as long as they already have a state, because there are some people in there where you don't know what their country is. And so those are the ones we want to leave null, right? Null means I don't know. All right, we'll get into it in just a second. I have decided to make a change to how I'm storing data in my tech help free template, which is a database that I use for a lot of my videos here at Access Learning Zone. And what I'm doing now is I'm leaving country blank for any customer that's United States. And I see I got France in here, but I've been doing this. I've been doing this for years for my own database. But I was recently putting together another lesson and I realized, you know what, blank is not good. Because blank or null, as it is in database terms, null says, I don't know. Right? Look at these last couple of records I put in here. The guys from Lord of the Rings, right? Frodo, Gandalf, Legolas, and, you know, the Shire. I don't know what their country is. I'd probably figure it out from the books, but you know what I'm saying, right? But everybody else in here, I do know. New York, Ohio. So I think it's a bad idea to leave these blank if it's the United States. Now, obviously, the best method is to use a country table and a state table so the user can pick from a list, as I've covered in many of my different uh, other videos. However, the purpose of the Tech Help Free template is to keep it simple and easy for beginners also. So I don't want to make it too complicated with too many relationships. So I just wanted to let everybody know that I'm making a change. I'm going to start putting USA in here for United States. I'm going to make that the default value in the customer field. So default or country is going to be USA. Okay. Now I got to change everybody that's in there. That's currently null, but I got some down here that I don't want to. So I think the easiest thing for me to do at this point, since most of these people, our United States, except for the ones at the end. I'm gonna say, if the country is currently null and there's something in the state field, then we're gonna make country USA. So how do we do that? Well, we use an update query. So I'm gonna go up to create, query design. I'm gonna bring in the customer table. I'm going to, we're really only looking at the country field and the state field, okay? So in order to change country, it's got to be null. And the state has to be not null, right? It is not null is what you put there. So if I run this now without making any changes, I'll see the ones I want to change. See, countries and states. Those blank states at the bottom are not in there. You can see my new default values popping in too. Okay, now, now that I'm looking at these records, and yes, these are the ones I want to change, now it's safe to make this and turn it into an update query. So query design update. What are we updating country to? Well, this is real easy, USA. If it was a field name, make sure you put it in brackets because it doesn't always get it the right way. If I wanted to update it to, let's say address, and I just type in address, see, it puts it inside of quotes. You got to be careful with that. If you want to make it a field name, make sure you put it inside of brackets. It's one of those times when you need the brackets or you can pick from a list. Sometimes it puts the list there for you. It did a minute ago, but it's not now. All right, but I want this just to be USA. Now I can run the query. Nothing appears to happen because I have my warnings turned off. You might get a, a, a pop-up that says, hey, you're about to change 15 records. What do you want to do? But if I take a look at my customer table now, you can see I've got USA as the default. I'm going to leave it USA though. United States is just more characters, so it wastes more space in the database. And again, like I said, the best way to do it is a relational table. But I want to keep this simple for the beginners. Okay. And I'm not going to save this query in here because, again, I'm trying to keep this uncluttered. I got just what we need in here. And so now I can update this. We're now up to version 1.96 or 1.97. Little minor modification. OK, 
Okay, but I wanted to post a video for it so all of you that are following along know exactly what's going on. And there you go. Oh, and I like to change the background color just a little bit every time I make a minor change. So let's go to, let's go dark. Yeah, there we go. We'll make that lighter. Let's see, format, make that white. Save it, close it, open it. There we go. There's version 1.97. If you would like to learn more about update queries, go check out this video. Normally I cover update queries in my expert class. They're one of the action queries. Action queries include update, append queries, where you can add data to tables, like that's great for keeping logs or audit trails, delete queries, and of course, make table queries can make whole new tables out of your query data. So those are all covered in my Microsoft Access Expert 13 class. I'll also include a link to that down below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. And make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of Access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that show more link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like level one, level two is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus, you get access to my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks, plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject, and you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.